I think we're gonna want to move fast. Yeah. Er. I found a way through the office. If we stick to the specific angles that I point out, we should avoid detection by the cameras. All right. And uh, I walk them through that labyrinth that you pointed out. Okay. Can all three of you give me an act under pressure? Yep. That is cool. Oh, yeah. For the record. Yep. Uh, remember, if you're following the plan, all of you get a plus one to this. Sweet. So that's a 10 for me. Okay. All right. So that's an eight. Mr. Turbo? Yeah. Um... All right. Well, none of you failed it terribly. A worse outcome, a hard bargain, or an ugly choice. Yeah. Success with complication. Yeah. So seven to nine's marginal. Right. Meaning that you it succeed. means that I you get what you want, but I spice the pot a little bit, to, right. some, to say the least. Or 10, 11, curry. 12 is you get everything that you want. Yeah. Not good curry, potentially. Overspiced curry. Yeah, I might, like, listen, I find I put, put too many chilies in this in this bad boy. All right, so since you got out with a 10 ice pick, you lead everybody successfully through the camera coverage. That was what the roll was for. That's what you all did. Yep. You turn a corner for them and are effectively a ghost where you kind of, you know, you do the thing where you just, like, vanish oh. into the shadows. And just as Bitsnake and Ren are about to turn a corner, they hear a stop right there. Hands. Hands. I want to see some hands. I guess I play it cool and just slowly raise my hands. Okay. Yep. Turn around now. Okay. Turn. Okay. You see... How should I put this? It's a good looking guy that you could tell he's not real. So I don't have to not be rude about this. But let's say a face that 10,000 credits could buy. Right. And he definitely bought that face. Right. You know, just like the perfect jaw. I'm sure plastic surgery in the year 2027 or whatever the fuck it is here. 200 years in the future is less obvious looking. But uh, 22, 27. Yeah, 2227. Sorry, yes, I put his accidental zero in there. It's cool. I just don't think that the world is going to... Never mind, the world's going to be yeah, listen, apart for years. It's, it's the chiseled jaw, the ruffled, light blonde hair, yeah. clear blue eyes, and he's wearing like a nice jacket with a little leaf symbol with an N in there, circled oh, out, and you know... God. Oh, I'm sorry, with an M, not an N, and leaf circle, and you know... It's a telltale sign that this mother effer is from end plants. Hmm. Well, end plants, huh? I'm hoping our homeboy will will turn the corner again and I'm... just light him up. <laughs> he's a long way from home if he's with end plants. All right, this guy does have the equivalent of like a, I believe it's like a hand cannon, the big handgun option that oh, okay. uh, Socks yeah. has. Yeah, he's got that. He's pointing that at you. You do see some motion up top near the ceiling. You're thinking that he's got at least another partner with him. I guess I'll just hunker down for now because I want to see how this pans out. Wow, thanks, buddy. Well, I want to see how many hostels there are because yeah. otherwise we're going. I'm going in blind. And we're, There's we one, and he's pointing a gun at us. Aren't you the muscle of the crew? Who the fuck gave you that job? <laughs> well, if you want me to kill him, I will. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I wait for the plan guy to try to talk his way out of it and when he sees that no one's going to try to talk their way out of it I think there probably is a hand gesture to signal kill him let's be real (laughs) I don't know either of you two faces now we can either you contractors right you don't got any stakes in this leave right now so I don't have to shoot you in the head as soon as he says shoot you in the head I shoot him in the head (laughs) you just pop out from around the corner all right, yeah. that is a mix it up roll if I've ever fucking heard one. Yep. And wait, this is not technically part of the plan, so I'm not adding a forward to it. But I do have a silenced rifle, so that's minus loud. All right. So yes, mix it up. This is a meat roll, which is my yep. favorite stat of all time. Oh my, Ooh, baby! <laughs> it's my best stat. All right. Well, let's see what. Let me see what the. Ooh, I need to see a thirteen. That's too much. <laughs> Uh, the minute this dude's head melts in front of me, by the way, I am dropping a grenade. Oh. Specifically, the flashbang variety. Okay. Ah, oh, that works. That's perfectly fine for me. I'm just trying to... Give me two seconds so I can get... <laughs> I, I need to go into my mind palace to tell you what happened. No, no, here. that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that's my plan for escaping whatever's okay. in the walls. Okay. Man. 
his 10,000 credit face got melted. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna just rewind three seconds so we can see how, uh -huh. you know, I, can do, I can paint the scene how it plays out, right? It's like, hey, stop it, nobody move. Hands up, run in bits, snake turbo, you know, put their hands up, turn around, meet them, plant some ember. And then as soon as he says, leave here before we shoot you in the head, Ice Pick Fred Scott morphs effectively from the shadows behind the corner that he dipped under with the assault rifle, takes the pew, you know what, we're in the future, so the silencer actually sounds like a silencer in the video game. <laughs> it's true. And mm -hmm. as you said, this man's face is no longer a face and no longer a head, and he's out. And you just drop the flashbang as you guys dip around the other corner again. You hear the, and then, ah, oh, shit, ah, ah, my eye, ah. And then what you missed is a local, like, warning clack song in the room goes off, going, intruders detected. And then just as Gatling guns that you did not quite see lit this dude up. Oh my God. <laughs> it sucks to be him. <laughs> yeah, sucks to suck, nerd. That dude was turned into paper mache. Yeah, he got double Robocop. <laughs> Dean from Robocop? So I don't get sued by whoever owns Robocop, no. Wink emoji. Okay, no, <laughs> just yes. the that, No, that works too, that works too. That's a good, that's a good mental image. I'm assuming you guys are booking it, right? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. As yep. quickly as our little legs will allow us. Okay, yes. you know, Ice Pick got you effectively to the end of the room, so there's like a hatch... It almost seems like it wasn't designed for this, but like a little like, you know, side door into a sketchy looking walkway and then through another door, you're outside. On the side. Of, oh, boy. Outside of the building. Yeah, because it's on the 10th floor, you know, roof, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're seeing, you know, the scene that I gave Jaybird earlier, where just, you know, you see the smoke clouds of some probably pretty for real fires in the horizon. There's like six of them now kind of spreading throughout the city. Oh, right, there's man. like two or three that are kind of close, but you're kind of seeing off. You know, we're talking ten miles out. Well, maybe not ten miles out. I'm sorry, distance is hard sometimes. But like, you know, six to seven miles out from here, it's getting kind of rough. They have a six mile blast radius for everything they're throwing out. Well, we don't know what the situation's going on out there. This could be any number of things. Good lord, up to and including just general riots. Yeah, I mean, I mean, sometimes you just got people running sometimes about. You got people running about. Sometimes you get a shadow organization to start multiple riots throughout a city just to put pressure on a local police station so that you're undercover op to invade via the front door of their main offices. You know, I mean, it's 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 a game of of uh, small digits. You know, anything can be anything. That's, on. that's crazy. Uh, bits make turbo. That's that's wild speculation. That's that's. <laughs> completely baseless <laughs> man i hate it when i hit the nail on the head you know i don't like it when my players do that actually <laughs> my bad <laughs> when your players read you like an open book <laughs> it's more like i have my note tab open i'm just typing everything socks is saying into the notes <laughs> so i can just retroactively justify what's going on yes that's exactly what's happening you are so smart for figuring it out mm -hmm. yes you are <laughs> You either live long enough to see yourself become the conspiracy theory, or you die of an absurd, lonely, sad man looking at Reddit. Special thanks to Toys and Things in Danvers, Massachusetts, Reaper Miniatures, Off the Wall Games in Hadley, Massachusetts, Games and Friends in Springfield, Massachusetts, as well as Triple A Games Arena in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. If you enjoy the show, help the podcast grow! Give us a follow on Twitter at Lords Broken, join the community Discord, and maybe consider offering a small tribute to the old ones on our Ko-Fi. All these links and more can be found in our link tree at linktr.ee forward slash thebrokenlords. Thank you.